I think they are. And as time progresses, we are becoming less invisible. Um, I think awareness is helping us a lot. Uh, according to a study from an LA site, 70% from the Grasnet survey shows that women are becoming invisible. It's a case where there are a lot of factors involved as to why they are becoming invisible. Um, some of those factors are opportunity, confidence, employment, and self-worth. Once a woman turns 50, it shows pretty much from the age of 52 that this affects 70% of all women, that they deteriorate for certain factors. Women have been brought up to play a certain role. And I think if we go by the foundation of what a woman's role is, we have been brought up to a reproduce and carry the main job of being a mother, being maternal and looking after our role as that. What studies have found and as time continues is that more women are not being mothers and are not reproducing. More women are looking after themselves and what the self-worth is. Identifying what a woman is, is a matter of understanding your self-worth and who you are, what you believe in and what your goals are in life. A woman becoming invisible will become a less issue as time progresses because we are more aware of who we are. We are standing at ground with who we want to be and we want to lead our daughters, our nieces, our friends or the next generation into a better world as to what a woman can offer, what she can strive for, who she can be and to have a voice. Um, I think we have been brought up to believe that being a woman was second from male. That is no longer the case. And we see that in the corporate world where if you take a board or if you take management or an organisation, they are fighting more and more to have women involved. They are fighting more and more to have women have a voice. And I think that's going to be a win-win situation from today onwards. I really believe that a woman suffers from fear and I'm going to relate that back to not being comfortable with who she is. That fear comes or is pretty much or meets at an intersection with what one of the points that you've stated which is divorce. At a later age when a female divorces she is lost and I think I've seen that in many cases through family, through friends, through a working environment. Being in the position that I am, I have a lot of women come up to me and whether or not they ask for work, whether or not they need to change their working environment or their position or what have you. Many women rely on the male because they don't have the time to take control in the marriage. And when I mean by control, I mean whether it's a financial aspect, whether it is an, a working environment aspect and so on. So they handball that to the male, to the husband, to their partner, because you don't necessarily have to be married. You could be in a partnership. Whether or not they are looking after their family, whether or not they are looking after their home, whether or not they've got to work and come home and cater for whoever it is that does live there, they just don't have time. So things have to be balanced out. And that usually or tends to be financial matters. And when it is a case where an older woman, and I don't like using the term older, I'll say middle-aged woman, because although we say we become invisible by the age of 50, that can also happen at an earlier age from 40 or 45, depending upon circumstances and your upbringing and cultural aspects. Um, I really do feel that at that stage, once a separation does happen, a woman does feel lost because all of a sudden, if she wasn't working, 
she needs to find employment. If she hasn't studied or if she hasn't got any certificates against her or she hasn't got a talent, a hobby or anything that could help her find work, it becomes an issue. This encourages homelessness. It encourages women committing suicide. It encourages women going back into an environment, whether it is living with a child, living with a family member, or living in an environment where they can't afford anything else but paying rent, necessities, and so forth. Um, very few women do have the privilege, and I mean that by privilege, whether they have enough security behind them, but a lot of them don't because it's not something that they foresee in the future. Learn who you are, stand your ground. Um, I think there are a lot of factors that a woman needs to be aware of. Understanding you, um, understanding your strengths, being visible, not only in a work ethic, but being visible upon your peers. Don't stop your social interaction. Don't stop your work ethic. Don't stop because you're 50, well, I'm going to let myself go because I don't need to put makeup on as anymore. I don't need to dress well anymore. No, you do. You need to make yourself look good, feel good, and people need to see that and made aware that you are there. But more important, don't stop interacting with others. I really believe that as a female, you need to interact not only with your peers, but with the younger generation. The biggest problem that I find with the younger generation and where the older or middle-aged generation pretty much have an issue with is the younger generation does not give us the time of day. If we were based in a coffee shop, for example, a young waiter will look at you and call you, hi ma'am, hi madam, or just hi. As soon as a younger woman would walk in, his eyes will totally deter to her and say, what can I do for you? So I think it's a matter of being interactive, looking after your health and being aware of your surroundings.